travel makes one modest. You see what a tiny place you occupy in the world. Gustave Flaubert said that. And I completely agree. Traveling presents the opportunity to learn a lot of things. As Mark Twain would put it, broad, wholesome, charitable views of men and things cannot be acquired by vegetating in one little corner of the earth, all of one's lifetime. To be gender sensitive, however, Twain should have mentioned women too. Traveling has been made a lot easier with the growth of the airline industry, which, if not because of the pandemic, has made traveling quite affordable in the recent years. These days, the cost of the airline ticket has doubled, if not more than doubled, and we don't see yet when these prices would go down again. This notwithstanding, more and more people are now traveling, especially when the borders started to open more than a year ago. The influx of passengers to airports all over the world has overwhelmed these airports, which were barely recovering also from the diminished capacity and resources, including a decreased staffing, as part of the impact of the pandemic. As a result, not only were there delayed and cancelled flights, this resulted also to delayed, lost and even damaged baggage. The common question that we hear is, can I claim compensation for my lost, delayed or damaged baggage? Hi everyone. My name is Isabella, and I am tasked to discuss this topic for you. DTIDOTC Joint Administrative Order No. 1, Series of 2012, which is also known as the Air Passenger Bill of Rights, provides for compensation not only for certain delayed or cancelled flights, it also provides for compensation when the air passenger's baggage is lost, delayed or damaged. Under Section 14 of the Joint Order, a passenger shall have the right to have his or her baggage carried on the same flight that such passenger takes, subject to considerations of safety, security, or any other legal and valid cause. In case a checked-in baggage has been offloaded for operational, safety, or security reasons, the air carrier or airline company shall inform the passenger at the soonest practicable time, and in such manner that the passenger will readily know of the offloading. Meaning, the passenger should be notified that his or her baggage has been offloaded and the reason for such offloading. If the passenger's baggage has been offloaded, the airline company should make the appropriate report, and give the passenger a copy of that report, even if it had already announced that the baggage would be on the next flight. The air carrier shall carry the offloaded baggage in the next flight with available space, and deliver the same to the passenger, either personally or at his or her residence. For every 24 hours of delay in such delivery, the air carrier shall tender an amount of 2,000 pesos to the passenger, as compensation for the inconvenience the latter experienced. A fraction of a day shall be considered as one day for purposes of calculating the compensation. For this purpose, the 24-hour period shall commence one hour from the arrival of the flight of the passenger carrying such baggage. Should such baggage, whether carried on the same or a later flight, be lost or suffer any damage attributable to the air carrier, the passenger shall be compensated in the following manner. For international flights, the relevant convention shall apply. For domestic flights, upon proof, a maximum amount equivalent to half of the amount in the relevant convention that applies for international flights, in its peso equivalent. The relevant convention referred to is the Montreal Convention of 1999. Under the Montreal Convention, the compensation is expressed in terms of special drawing rights or SDR, which will be converted to national currency, based on the prevailing rate at a specific time. In the carriage of baggage, the liability of the carrier in the case of destruction, loss, damage or delay is limited to 1,000 special drawing rights for each passenger, unless the passenger has made, at the time when the checked baggage was handed over to the carrier, a special declaration of interest in delivery at destination, and has paid a supplementary sum if the case so requires. In that case the carrier will be liable to pay a sum not exceeding the declared sum, unless it proves that the sum is greater than the passenger's actual interest in delivery at destination. As of February 3, 2023, 1,000 SDR is equivalent to 1,343 US dollars and 38 cents. Under the joint order of the DTI and the DOTC, for compensation purposes, a passenger's baggage is presumed to have been permanently and totally lost, if within a period of seven days, counted from the time the passenger or consignee should have received the same, the baggage is not delivered to said passenger or consignee. For international flights however, the Montreal Convention provides that if the carrier admits the loss of the checked baggage, 
or if the checked baggage has not arrived at the expiration of 21 days after the date on which it ought to have arrived, the passenger is entitled to enforce against the carrier the rights which flow from the contract of carriage. Please also note that under the Montreal Convention, the carrier is liable for damage sustained in case of destruction or loss of, or of damage to, checked baggage, upon condition only that the event which caused the destruction, loss, or damage took place on board the aircraft, or during any period, within which the checked baggage was in the charge of the carrier. However, the carrier is not liable if, and to the extent that the damage resulted from the inherent defect, quality, or vice of the baggage. In the case of unchecked baggage, including personal items, the carrier is liable if the damage resulted from its fault or that of its servants or agents. Under Section 16 of the Joint Order, an air carrier liable for any and all compensations provided by these rules, shall make the same available to the affected passenger, at the air carrier's counters at the airport, on the date when the occasion entitling the passenger to compensation occurred, or at the main office, or any branch of the air carrier, at the discretion of the passenger. The air carrier shall tender a check for the amount specified, or cash, or the document necessary to claim the compensation or benefits mentioned above, provided, that such document shall be convertible to cash within 15 days, from the date when the occasion entitling the passenger to such compensation occurred. Relevant to this, and this applies especially to international flights, the Montreal Convention provides that a passenger should timely file his or her complaint. The receipt by the person entitled to delivery of checked baggage without complaint, is prima facie evidence that the same has been delivered in good condition, and in accordance with the document of carriage or with the record preserved by the other means. In the case of damage, the person entitled to delivery must complain to the carrier forthwith after the discovery of the damage, and, at the latest, within seven days from the date of receipt in the case of checked baggage. In the case of delay, the complaint must be made at the latest within 21 days from the date on which the baggage have been placed at his or her disposal. Every complaint must be made in writing and given or dispatched within the said period of times. If no complaint is made within the said period of times, no action shall lie against the carrier, save in the case of fraud on its part. So, in case you encounter this kind of situation in any of your future travels, whether it is the case of a delayed baggage, a lost baggage, or a damaged baggage, always be mindful to keep the documents and receipts that would support your claims, such as your plane tickets, boarding passes, baggage claim receipts, receipts of your essential purchases while waiting for your delayed baggage and the like. And be prompt in submitting your claim and make sure to keep it documented. Let us know your thoughts or reactions about this topic by leaving a comment below. Please visit your lawyer's channel for more informational videos. And if you think that this channel can be of help in providing you with useful and relevant information, please feel free to subscribe, and hit that notification bell icon, so that you will get notified of our future videos. Stay safe.